Yeah, I'll welcome to another reflection done by Diggity. I'm going to freestyle this one a little bit. I don't have anything pre-planned to say. Uh, primarily, I guess I just wanted to try to be encouraging. To put my voice out there um, for anybody that needs to hear it. I know the holidays can be a hard time for people. So for anybody that needs to hear it, I guess I'll say it's going to be okay. For anybody that's feeling a lot of anxiety, I don't know why this is the case, but a lot of individuals have found that <laughs> maybe this is one of the reasons I stream. They found that uh, being around me, they, they just aren't as anxious. Maybe that's because of, I don't know, weird issues interior to me and things I've tried to project out into the world at time. I'm not sure how much control or lack of control I have over that. I will say that this time last year for me was supremely difficult involving a lot of sleep, uh, sleep deprivation and really setting up for the front part of 2021 to be a hell of a year. Um, it was, yeah, it was difficult and it was challenging, but survived and learned a lot of things about myself, uh, about the world, about all sorts of things that I guess it's surprising and distracting at times, but um, made it through. And so I, I think people right now, I guess the general timbre I would get out in the world as I look around is fatigue. I know that there's just an announcement for the uh, Omicron variant of COVID this morning. And people are looking to get back to normal. People are just starting to file back into the office. But I don't think there is, first of all, I don't know that there ever was a normal. And I don't mean that to be discouraging. I mean that more to be exciting. That things are constantly in this state of flux. And I think oftentimes people, that creates some form of, a, of anxiety. I actually find it interesting that like in those spaces, there's kind of like change. There's something that happens out in the world and sometimes we cling to the negative, or I think the negative impacts us in a particular way, and we look at it as trauma. Um, and oftentimes that shapes the way we are and can be detrimental to us and can uh, create problems. But there's also things we cling to that are the positive, right? I was just watching Arcane on Netflix, and it blows my mind that League of Legends is 11 years old and has more or less taken over the esports scene and done so much. And I remember when it was a fledgling game in beta um, and I yeah I'm just noticing that at the supermarkets um, going back to the flux we're not seeing pictures of Lucille Ball or the JFK assassination anymore it's more targeting towards uh, non baby boomer demographics times progressing things are changing and it's subtle and it is chaotic it's very chaotic but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. In fact, I think there's an opportunity to look at it as exciting uh, just by detaching and taking a moment and sitting back and watching it happen. And I think uh, the surprising thing I found is, is I th typically I've looked at the chaos and looked at like just how uncontrollable everything is and how we try to press towards a particular outcome or we try to go about the world in a particular way. And there's a lot of failure. For me, in particular, uh, something that's been highlighting, tomorrow's going to be a difficult day for me. I'll just say it outright. I know I'm going to be going into an emotionally difficult situation. I won't get into the details of it. it involves a family situation. Um, but uh, I know it's gonna be emotionally challenging and I'm gonna. Have, it's going to. And it's going to be particularly complicated <laughs> for me, primarily because I've patterned a lot of things around trying to protect people, one way or another, or made it my problem. I guess that's something that's been highlighted in I don't know the time of Thanksgiving being around family, um, here and there, and proximity to your family again. This is just, uh, yeah, how. I don't know, I've wanted the power to protect people or wanted to um, 
yeah, be a force for protection for the people I care about in the world. And how little ability I actually have fundamentally to do that. But yet somehow, in the midst of all of that chaos and all of the flux out there in the world, as scary as it can be and oftentimes as we can link, cling to it and look at it as negative, um, I'm finding, oddly, that the recognition of it, the chaos and the flux, and how we're all in it, um, it's giving me an odd degree of connection. Ends up looking like smiley faces here. Give him a smiley, whatever. So anyway, silly drawings now. But yeah, I think that's what's profound is, is regardless of what situation or what, let me put it, pull it back. Regardless of what you think about the holiday seasons or you think about anything, whether they're positive for you or whether they're negative for you, whether you have belief in a particular thing or not. I think the one thing that unifies us all is a constant state of unknowing, of hoping for one thing, striving after another, um, having both disappointments and victories, really wanting something and getting it, an amazing feeling, really wanting something and not getting it, that desperate feeling, um, the yearning uh, for something better, I think that's all part and an amazing part of the just generalized human experience. But I think the one thing that underlines and connects all of it is just not knowing. Being in a state of not knowing and not fully being able to. So as much as we, how do I put this? As much as I say a word and as much as I worry that I'm not communicating well, as much as I worry that, man, is anything I'm saying getting through? Am I able to connect with uh, anybody out there sort of thing? Is anybody in the same place? <laughs> Oddly. I actually had a profound experience last weekend where I found another individual randomly that was in a very similar situation to mine. Um, not Definitely not precisely exact, but uh, similar. And it was odd because it was almost at a confessional space where they did it, where they talked about it. And it was like, it just hit me where I'm like, it was funny because so many people in this period of time recently to me have been like, oh, you're not alone. To which I kind of wanted to be like, ah, bull guys, you have no idea. And it, it did feel very uh, lonely a period of time, but it was hilarious because I could sit there and I looked at him with conviction and I said, I say this having so many people say it to me and just feeling like it was just total BS. And I say it with 100% conviction to you, you're not alone. <laughs> What a hypocrite. But that's the hilarity of it, right? The irony. I wish I couldn't, didn't need to be so vague, but I, I'll just leave it vague and hopefully you guys get the sentiment of it. I think that's just the nature of life is uh, at a point, like you can look at it as a divine comedy or a divine tragedy or, and so much of it is perspective and just how you how you settle into it and view it. And I don't know, I've started to feel this level of, regardless of differences, um, this degree of profound connection in the midst of that confusion and knowing that at least the human experience, as much as we don't understand each other, as much as we exist in the world in different ways, that we think one thing's going on with someone and another is how little we know just because we can't step into another individual's experience uh, to feel precisely what it is or to be driven the way they are or to be or to even know like anything um, a value or of substance about someone else that despite all of that just being in that space of unknowing there's oddly connection there because that's something we all experience And so I think where anxiety and uncertainty and I think lament have kind of been um, themes 
recently in various spaces. Um, what I find interesting is, is even in the midst of that, there is a profound connection that happens. And I, that's what I find most interesting about all of it is, um, we'll just focus on the negative for the moment because that tends to be the thing. It's odd that like, so often it's like the negative that our brain goes back to. Why is that? When we could, maybe that's why I like Thanksgiving so much is because it's a time to reframe and maybe look at the positive. Look at the things that maybe we have that um, we should appreciate. I don't know, gratitude. But I'll stick with the negative here. Being so oftentimes in a space where there just is a feeling of lack or tragedy or desperation or disconnection, it's... I think the next feeling that oftentimes happens immediately after that is a feeling of segregation and isolation. So it's, it almost feels like we as individuals, we have that pain. I'll just put that as a negative. We have that pain and I don't mean like physical pain. I mean like that profound, deep wall of pain. And if you haven't experienced it in life, uh, look out because eventually you will where you, it's almost the wall that you hit as a human, where it's this big reminder that you are not like God or the universe, you're not all powerful. Where there's this thing that's um, just like the death of a loved one or a uh, pet dying or just something that you desperately wanted to work out, not working out. That sort of crushing feeling that happens and then the next immediate feeling is, is, yeah, it's just isolation, segregation from the whole. And what's interesting is, is even though that is the immediate reaction that happens, that's the reaction that everybody shares. And what I find both humorous and profoundly tragic is that uh, this is guaranteed in life. Like the joy, the triumphant joy that can be experienced is not guaranteed. Like not everybody experiences that, which I think also makes it special and unique and something that should be heralded and celebrated, but uh, it's not something that everybody gets to experience. But the pain and the segregation and that kind of desperation and that, that down feeling, everybody experiences that. And it's ironic that that's how the universe works, is, is that this is the unifying, the, the unifying thing that we all experience and can all connect um, and share over. But at the same time, that makes it a cushion, oddly, because not everybody experiences this. And I'm not sure that this uh, provides a sense of connection anyway. <laughs> so it's almost as cruel as this might look. I think it, earlier in the year, I was a bit more cynical around this, where it's like, why is it that the universe works this way? that we always, that all of us have experienced the terrible and have shared around the negative. But at the same time, I look at it and it's better that way because it seems like just for some reason, how do I put this? It's better that way because I would rather have the trampoline at the bottom than having the trampoline up here where it's inaccessible. Does that make any sense? It's good that the negative draws us down, but there's... I don't know, a net, something. There's the elastic down here. <laughs> that can launch you back up for a second. And so for those who uh, are up here, I celebrate you, congrats. And for those of you that know what I'm talking about down here, I've been there with you. I'm not there right this second, mostly just because I am able to sit back and muse on this aspect in and of itself. That in the pain of it all, we are oddly unified and we can see each other in it, if we look. And so for uh, my voice just ranting out there in the abyss, for anybody that needs it right this second. I'm happy to talk at you. I'm open to PMs. <laughs> happy to keep streaming.
uh, both for you guys and for me. And coming out of Thanksgiving and moving into what feels like a very magical time of year. Uh, yeah, I'm just very thankful. Very thankful for a lot of things. But uh, in particular for, yeah, just having this space uh, to engage in a lot of this. It's turned into a pretty cohesive rant, I think. A reflection. I need to stop calling them rants. <laughs> Not sure I ever will. Pretty cohesive, uh, given the nature of it. Now i got to come up with a title. I'll figure it out on the other side of it. Uh, I think that's all i got in my brain for the moment, though. Not too shabby. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you are all doing well. And hope you continue to do well in the future. I guess put out a random blessing out there that you guys, that uh, the falls will be gentle and that it will just make you bounce that much higher on the way back. And for the people up here, that uh, you'll be able to stay up as long as possible and, and really enjoy and uh, cherish that air. Thanks for listening.